to now, we're in 2010. Now, compared to when you started, what do you feel rap has lost today? Uh, I don't know if rap's lost anything, but the people who sell it and control it and market it lost the originality. They don't, they look for the safe shit. They don't look for anything distinct or, or something that's going to provoke any sort of thought. They go for the shit that's just generic, safe, cookie cutter crap. And it gives people that perception that's, that's what hip hop is, that's what it's become, that's what it's turned to. But it's more than that. You just have to search now, and now you have easier ways to find because the internet makes it so accessible that no matter what kind of garbage they might be playing on the radio, you could still find some good hip hop out there. You just have to apply yourself and look for it. And you hear it word of mouth through other people. And when you hear it word of mouth now, you can go research it. Not like, oh, I heard it from, from this guy. Now I just gotta wait till when they play it somewhere I hear it, I can react. No, now you can go do the diligence yourself and find a, a hip hop group that you might like. But the fact that you gotta jump through those hoops, it's fucked up because there's no balance. They don't play the crappy, generic, safe shit and, you know, the stuff that, that has some substance. You know, they put the substance all aside. They don't want you thinking. They just want you listening to that fucking station because they're trying to sell you the advertisements as opposed to the actual music. It's all in reverse, but the normal person that listens to the radio don't know this type of shit. And I only know because I worked in radio and they're not selling you the music, they're selling you the advertisements. So whatever's going to draw in the mindless shit, that's what they play.